open. Up the strap. <laughs> guys welcome back we just got off work or maybe about 30 minutes ago we're out of the garage now but as you seen at the beginning oh shit of the, of the video we took Tonka out we cleaned the bottom uh, all the grease out and uh, in this video we will be taping them off uh, taping plastic to them so we don't paint the rest of the car we're gonna undercoat it I'm going to let D-Wix use my engine stand with the spare GSR on there that we're going to be building. But we're going to be building his first. And so oh, yeah. And they get hard freight was an asshole. That's yeah, he, he was an asshole. He, he must have been a new guy. But that GSR is coming down. The engine stand and the LS and everything will be uh, going over d -Wix's. We're going to make room at d -Wix's garage. And yeah. Catch you guys in a second. All right, guys. So, comment in this video. The guy that we bought, yeah, you, you guys will see in a little bit. But we went and bought a head pause uh, for D Wix's motor. I'm not gonna tell you guys which, but you guys are gonna find out soon. But the guy had a turbo kit that 150, 150, 150 no eBay, intercooler. no intercooler, eBay turbo kit. I mean, it, it's not bad of a deal. It's the eBay, so it's like Gee, iffy. It's not, I mean, we could get the, we could use the piping, pause, and then get a good turbo. Well, I don't know. But to help fund Tonka, uh, a gunner is going to come show up to the house, to the garage, and I'm selling my stuff. I'm going to sell uh, all my spare parts, or not all my spare parts, but I'm going to sell my turbo and stuff like that. So... Yeah, uh, I was talking to him all day today, as you, uh, fucking, you guys will see this like a few days after, obviously, uh, it's a Friday, you guys will see this Monday, but, yeah, I'm selling all my stuff, and then, go and find Tonka. Yeah, all this stuff right here. Damn, we need to clean up this corner, d -Wix. I know, I know they watch it. I know, yeah, I know they're watching the vlog, but every time we clean this garage, we just kick everything over, bro. You still got your water bottle right there, bro. A week? Yeah. <laughs> At least a week. <laughs> yeah, this is everything that's going. He just texted me, D-Wix. He's like five minutes out. He said, right now? Yeah, he said he's at Casey's. Uh -huh. Yeah. Shit. He's going to be lit. I'm playing. Huh? I'm just playing. I'm giving you my turbo kit. Yeah. No. I'm not going to use it. I promise. No. I swear. I want to see you win. All this is going for you. I swear. No, for free. I'm not going to use it anymore, bro. I love you. Damn. We've known each other for so long. It just feels so good to be able to help you because I'm not going to use it. We'll fix all the little stuff that it needs, and it's yours, bro. I, I was gonna, Crazy. yeah, I was gonna clean up the wrinkle coat and everything, but I don't know what uh, color scheme you want to go with on Coopty. So for now, we'll figure that out later. It's all yours, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah. I love you, brother. Love you too. I'm trying to escape. You got the little asshole. Yeah, look, his head's still fitting in that mouth. Got him. And we are at D Wix's house. I got the engine, his trans, the engine stand. Uh, in my truck, he has a turbo kit in his. We are going to pull Coopty out. We're going to back Coopty out. 
decide on where Tibby is. Tibby's going to go back uh, right there. Of course, we've got the doggies. Got Rex. Cujo. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Also, it is windy today, so I apologize for the wind noise. And it is out. We just slid the motor to the ass end pause. Uh, slid the stand part. That. Sneak peek. Sneak peek. The cutie. But we had the motor sitting on the end of the tailgate. Took the handle off. Put this part on, the red part. Slid it on. Put the pin in and just carried it off. Ooh, I'm gonna shove my plate. All right, Dewey, you wanna show them what we got going on here? We picked this up yesterday. Mm-hmm. What kind GSR of head, head is it? What is that? GSR head. GSR. Oh, Came with fucking all the goodies. All the goodies, dozen of little. It's, it's stock, but it's been machined. It's uh, it's been to a machine shop. But it's a good start. Got for a good deal too. Garage is a good mess. deal. Yeah. Decent deal. It was fucking cheap as fuck, honestly. Yeah, it was cheap. It was uh, better than getting one shipped to us. All the other ones that we could find are in New York. Of course, my turbo kit. And we think with the hot oil splashing up from uh, my. What was I called? Kitchen. My. No, not my trash can. My oil pump was spraying onto right here, and so that's what ate the wrinkle. But we'll get that taken care of once D Wicks decides what he wants to do. We'll redo this, and we'll use this for a while until we get a new intercooler. But it's still a good intercooler, so we'll just repaint that for D Wicks, and then of course the LS. Damn, your old lady again laid two titties wow. in that motherfucker. His old lady has friends over. Look. Look out. Want juicy? Yeah, I want juicy juice. <laughs> Hell yeah, I want juicy juice. Yes, sir. Came with valve cover already. The heads that we seen, pause, uh, on Facebook and stuff like that. When D Wicks looked, we could only find, and one where I looked on Instagram, we could only find them out of state. They didn't come with valve cover. They didn't come with distributor. Uh, Might have came with VTEC solenoid. I don't remember, but definitely did not come with an intake. It was literally just the bare head. Uh, with cam caps and a cam and everything else, but it has uh, stock GSR cams, stock everything. It just got sent to a machine shop for all we know, but it also came with this. So this is a good start for D-Wix. All right, guys. So me and D-Wix are about to go get food. I am sorry about that fan. It's really hot. I'm sweating. Sleeves rolled up as always, but. Well, uh, yeah, we're probably gonna call it a night. We're gonna go get some McDonald's, maybe McDoubles, and some hot and spicy McChickens. But catch you in a second. Hey, your old lady looking for you. Huh? Your old lady looking for you. Those those margaritas hitting. <laughs> And new day. I'm gonna go buy some respirator mask, uh, N95 paint mask from a store around me. And yeah, let's start the day. All right, guys. Just got back from Sherwin Williams. I hope I'm saying that right. But 3M N95 mask, 10 pack for $25. Can't beat it. Cause other places they're like, for one of these, even without the little screen, the exhale screen or filter I don't know what that's called but for one of these it's like 11 bucks so you can't beat it she's on bathing hey puppy all right back to the house um, I'm gonna prep Tonka start getting tape ready and stuff like that D wicks I don't know what that fucker's doing D where you at bro pause well, yeah, bro. I mean, you said you were just going to drop off the jack stand. 
be on your way. I went bought N95 masks. I went and bought oil so I could do oil change on Black Widow. I am back. You should already be here, bro. We, we, we got work to do. We got work to do. This is all the stuff we will be using. I got this case, 12 cans of Trim Black. If Trim Black does not work for undercoat, you found out from us. But I believe it should do just fine because we're going to be painting other stuff like the control arms, Trim Black, and they hold up pretty well. So this should do just fine as long as no chemicals get on the Trim Black. N95 mask. Protect your breathing. Your respiratory. Acetone. Brand new microfiber rags, cloths, whatever, and masking tape. It doesn't matter which one you use, I chose the blue one, and this sticks pretty well. I had another roll, so we might have to go buy more because I can't find the roll that I already used. This one's brand new, but we will be masking all this, showing you how we do it. We're going to double side around right here so the plastic can stick to it. We're going to double side down here and then tuck the plastic. Trim the axis, or excess, however you say it. Uh, we're going to put these drain plugs back in, tape over them, tape over all these holes. We'll show you that also. We'll be taping on the inside right here and showing you where we're going to paint and then where our line's going to go and flow. And of course, show you what all we're going to cover and how we're going to cover it. Alright, so the way we're going to do this, trim black, I got this on Amazon. Uh, you should have seen the part number in the last clip. But six cans for Tonka. I got this extra six cans. Will you be using these six on Koopty? These six on Tonka? The way we're going to do it is one can for a whole wheel well. We got four wheel wells, that's four cans. Going to split this in half. One can for the front, one can for the back, and then that's it. Um, yeah, D Wick said he was gonna be here. He said, All right, on my way, I drop off the jack stand. Motherfucker didn't stop talking. I don't care, bro. Get your ass over here. We got work to do. We got work to do. All right, guys, Tonka is all taped up. First car I've ever taped up, and then I have double side tape here so whenever we pull the plastic down same way right here the plastic will come down this will just fold over once we cut it and all the way through inside is all taped up we'll be going to all the way through to right here we still got to weld end caps and right here I still got to trim that up with a razor, and I'll show you guys how it looks. Alright guys, so Tonka is all masked up, taped off. We use Gaylord bags from work that hold resin. And yeah, it's honestly not bad. We just taped it where we needed it. Don't worry about the engine bay because we're only going to paint underneath right there. So we didn't really mask it off. But it holds everything we need, and it works just fine. It's honestly not that bad of a job. Especially since we've never masked anything before and we're using something that isn't just a big bag that covers the whole thing and we have to put two together. But yeah. I hate doing body work, hate taking shit off. Yeah. Not me. But we work with what we got guys. Especially ladies. Us men work with what we got. But anyway, we're gonna go with clean microfiber. Clean hands, so we gotta go wash our hands, get all the grease and everything off of it, and then we're gonna take the acetone, wipe everything clean so we don't see anything on the microfibers. Make sure the microfibers are clean. And then start painting. Alright guys, so everything acetone. Now time to wet the floor and paint. N95 mask on.
That's my damn business, bro. Man, I can hear you playing with the hydraulic press. <laughs> I ain't doing shit. Hey, you, everybody watching this video, gonna say, yeah, he playing with the press. Huh? What? What? All right, guys, so undercoat's done. My mask is pretty dirty from being under there. I don't know about D-Wix's. Uh, it's not as bad, but I had the overspray bouncing off the car and just circulating right there. So I can only imagine what my glasses look like. But yes, we did use six cans on the whole entire car. How many passes did you make on the wheel wells? Like five? Five, six. Five or so six there. on each wheel well. I used two cans, one can from the front or middle to the front. Another can from the middle to the rear, and then whatever uh, D-Wicks had, because we had a can sitting on each corner, I just used the rest underneath because D-Wicks made five or six passes. So yes, six cans for the whole entire car. Yeah, see what happens? Paint all over me. Uh, no, there's no runs anywhere or anything like that. But yeah, this will conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I need to clean my glasses, clean my face, get all the paint off. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to call it night. So, stay blessed, stay slain, keep fucking gunning, and I'll catch you guys next time.